Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Abundology Podcast. My name is Renee Spears, and I'm a Law of Attraction mentor and spiritual advisor, and I help people be happy and attract more money, love, time, and joy in their lives. I'm coming to you from beautiful downtown Portland, Oregon, and this is the weekly energy update for the week of August 8th, 2021. Every Sunday, I talk about how the energy is going to be for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes. So you do get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And today, Sunday, is considered one of the luckiest days of the year. And I will take it. We have a new moon in Leo. We have the Lion's Gate portal. And the date is 8-8, making this a really powerful and lucky day. So let's break all this down. Starting with a new moon in Leo. Remember, a new moon is a time of new beginnings and fresh starts. So this is the time to set an intention about what you want to manifest and bring into reality during the next month. So this new moon in Leo is asking us to discover and focus on what makes us happier, more creative, and more confident. So this new moon coincides with the 8-8 Lion's Gate a powerful portal that opens up every year as our sun aligns with Sirius. So the star Sirius is known as the spiritual sun, and it generates this really high frequency energy that is here to help us evolve. So the Lion's Gate portal is a combination of the sun being in its home sign of Leo, the star Sirius, the spiritual sun, rising in the sky, which happens every year around August 8th, and the numerological meaning of the number eight, which is amplified on 8-8. So collectively, all of these things vibrate with this very auspicious energy that makes August 8th a particularly lucky day for manifesting and turning your dreams into reality. And because it's happening on this new moon, this year it's even more powerful than usual. And this means we are taking some big steps forward. So eight is considered one of the luckiest days, luckiest numbers in numerology, and it corresponds with wealth and abundance. And visually, even eight is literally an infinity symbol just turned upright. And this represents its unlimited potential. So since eight is the number of abundance and prosperity, being the eighth day of the eighth month of the year, charges this date with the energy of success, and it enables us to set clear intentions. So all of these success attracting celestial bodies up there that are combined with this abundant energy of eight, eight, it all works together to create a powerful time for putting your intentions out into the universe. So how do you do that? How do you put your intentions out in the universe? And the easiest way that I have found to do this is to daydream. Daydreaming is just another way of visualizing. So daydreaming is my favorite way to create and manifest. It's easy and it's fun. And I know I've mentioned this before on this podcast, but daydreaming was how I figured out when I was younger how energy and the world worked. So when I was growing up, we had this huge elm tree in our front yard, and I would spend hours laying under this tree daydreaming. And almost magically, what I daydreamed about came true. And this is how I thought life worked. You just daydreamed, you thought about it, and then it happened. Um It wasn't until I was like in my mid-20s that I realized that other people didn't do it like this. And they thought I was a weirdo because this is what I was doing. You know, okay, it's worked out fine. Now that I know how to manifest stuff in life, that's okay. But go all in on the daydreaming the next few days. Intentionally prepare to daydream. So set aside some time with your phone off where you won't have any interruptions. Prepare your space. Light some candles, put on some music, make it nice and comfy, and even have a cocktail or an edible if it helps you relax and allow yourself to just dream. So one of the great things about daydreaming is that it works whether you know what you want or not. So if you know what you want to manifest and attract, just dream about achieving it or getting it. 
think about how your life is going to be and feel when it's here. So picture yourself experiencing it. And if you don't know what you want, then just allow yourself to dream away. Just enjoy the process of dreaming. Maybe you're dreaming about a vacation or time off or accomplishing a goal. It really doesn't matter because what you're doing by daydreaming is raising your vibration. You're making yourself happier by just imagining the possibilities. Now, Abraham Hicks tells us that the universe doesn't know whether the vibration that we're feeling is because of something that we're observing or something that we're remembering, or something that we're imagining. It just receives that vibration, and it answers it with things that match that vibration. So right now, with this Leo new moon, we're attracting happiness, confidence, and creativity. We're creating happier lives. Okay, so you might be thinking, wow, this just seems so easy. It cannot possibly be this easy to create and manifest and set an intention. I'm saying, yeah, it is really this easy. Manifesting is easy. Let's start working easy more into our vocabulary. Making money is easy. Being happy is easy. Manifesting is easy. So just turn off your phone, get a comfy blanket, and allow yourself to dream away. It really is that easy especially today and the first part of the week when the universe is doing most of the traction for us. And that's the reason for this podcast is to know what's happening out there with the energy and to use that energy, use the energy. And in this case, to propel our lives forward in a big way. So honestly, the hardest part of of daydreaming is not thinking about the hows. We don't need to figure out the hows right now. We don't need to figure, don't worry about the hows. The hows will fuck you up. Just picture what you want and allow the universe to work out the hows. It's that easy. This is also a really great time to do a new vision board if you feel like doing that, or even just to make a list of what you want in your life. And I mentioned this last week, but don't waste this Santa Claus time. We're in a time where all you have to do is put what you want on a list and Santa, otherwise known as the universe, will bring it to you. All you have to do is be intentional right now. Lock down your thoughts. No negativity right now. Just allow yourself to dream and then receive. So enjoy this week. This is a great opportunity to make some big progress forward in your life. And if you do decide not to do any of these manifesting things, you know, that's okay. But please just allow yourself to feel happy today. And by doing that, at least you'll be attracting happiness. So as always, thank you for listening. Um, This is podcast number 151. Last week, I blew right through podcast number 150, which is a milestone for me. I cannot believe that I have done 150 podcasts. It's mind blowing. It feels like I've only done maybe 20 and they are getting better each week, better and better. So have a fabulous week. Enjoy this lucky day. Enjoy this fabulous time. Enjoy this gift of the energy uh, the, from the universe of all the energy that is moving us forward in a big way. Enjoy that daydreaming and I'll talk to you again next week.